the birthplace of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. doused in gasoline in an arson attempt. Tonight, one person is behind bars. What we know about them and the home damaged tonight. That is where we begin on News Edge at 11. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Tom Haynes. Atlanta police say that a woman is in custody after trying to burn Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birth home to the ground. A good Samaritan stopped the woman just before the disaster struck. Fox News' Rob Durienzo live for us at the scene tonight. Rob, what more do we know? Tom, such a bizarre situation playing out here earlier this evening. The good news is, though, this could have ended so much worse. But thanks to those quick thinking actions from those Good Samaritans, everything is okay here. You can see things have quieted down from even within the last hour. Earlier today, APD, along with federal agents and national park uh, agents, were out here earlier. Right now, there are just so many questions that still remain. I, we have some incredible video of this incident, though. I want you to take a look at this. Witnesses say that is the suspect in the act holding that red canister, the 26-year-old woman, has been arrested, accused of attempting to vandalize Martin Luther King Jr.'s birth home here in Atlanta. This home here along Auburn Avenue has been undergoing renovations, so has been closed to the public for the last couple weeks. Witnesses told police the woman came up to the home carrying a gas can before 6 p.m. They say that she then proceeded to douse the plants and porch with what they say smelled like gasoline. The bystanders, who included two off-duty NYPD officers, jumped into action and pinned her down until APD showed. Later, they told cops they intervened when they saw her try to light a lighter. Had a big five gallon gas can in her hand and was going like this over the bushes. So I figured she was, you know, related to maintenance for the building or something, was just trying to water the bushes. Um, but it wasn't coming out and she was seemed a little irritated and a little on edge. If the witnesses hadn't been here and interrupted what she was doing, I mean, it could have been a matter of seconds um, before the house was engulfed in flames. Um, it was really about the timing and the witnesses being in the right place at the right time. She finished dumping the gas and dropped it into the bushes. Um, at that point, I called 911 on my phone and stopped recording. And just within the, la the last half hour, the King Center released a statement thanking first responders, saying, quote, fortunately, the attempt was unsuccessful thanks to the brave intervention of Good Samaritans and the quick response of law enforcement, adding, our prayers are with the individual who allegedly committed this criminal act. Now, police tell us the woman is facing charges of a criminal attempted interference with government property and attempted arson. She could also be facing more federal charges because this is a federally protected property. That's the latest from here live in downtown Atlanta. Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News. Oh, goodness, just so hard to believe. And thank goodness that that home didn't go up in flames, Rob. Thanks for the latest. The home on Auburn Avenue dates back to 1895. Dr. King's parents moved into the home in 1926, and he and his siblings were all born there. In 1968, plans were made to begin restoring the home as a museum. The MLK birth home closed at the end of November for restoration work. It was scheduled to reopen in 2025.